Hi everybody, I am Miss Laney from the Culpepper Library and I'm here for another fun STEAM project. Today we will be talking about CO2 gas. It's also known as carbon dioxide gas. If you want to do the activity without the explanation, feel free to skip ahead in the video. CO2 gas is made up of one carbon atom and two oxygen atoms. What do you think the C in CO2 stands for? What do you guys think? That's right, carbon. And what do you think the O stands for? Yes, oxygen, good job. The two in CO2 tells us that there are two oxygen atoms. How many carbon atoms do you see? Right, there's one carbon atom, good job. So atoms are the smallest part of what we call matter and matter is everything that we know. And that includes gases. Can you always see the gases? Can you see gases all the time? No, if you let helium out of a balloon, out of one of the balloons that floats by itself, you won't see the helium coming out when you open it, right? So some gases are invisible. So how are we going to make CO2 gas? Well, we are going to combine an acid with a base. Vinegar is an acid and baking soda is a base. What do you think is gonna happen when we combine them? Let's see. Well, our project today is baking soda snowman. So I love Olaf any time of the year. So even though it's not winter, I thought we could do this. And you will see that I did not have eyes and a nose here. And if you don't at home, that's okay. But I had glitter, so that's exciting. So we want to find out what happens when you add room temperature vinegar to a very, very cold baking soda and water concoction. What do you guys think will happen? What kind of gas do you make when you combine those two? What do you think? That's right, we're gonna make CO2 gas. How are we going to know that CO2 gas was made? Let's do the experiment and find out. Hi everybody, I'm Miss Laney. If you followed our science PowerPoint video that we posted, you know that we want to find out how we can tell if CO2 or carbon dioxide gas were made. So what we did is we made a baking soda snowman. We call it a snowman. Mine has a little face on it. Whatever you've got at home, you can use beads, you can cut a little triangle nose, you can do any kind of decoration and throw it in the bottom of the cup. So what I did is I mushed up water and baking soda and glitter and it you don't want it to be liquidy, just all wet and as if it's good hard packing snow and then pack it into a cup. You could do this with any cup and when you're all ready, you put it in the freezer and it freezes pretty quickly. And when you're all ready to do your experiment, you can just put your hands on it if it's a plastic cup and it'll warm up and come out, or you can run it under some warm water on the edges. So what we have here is basically baking soda, which is a base, and I have some vinegar, which is an acid. So that should make CO2 gas for us. So we're going to see what happens when we put vinegar on there. Now you don't need a pipette. These pipettes are extremely cheap on Amazon and have many uses. You definitely don't need this. You can use a spoon. You can even use a little tiny spoon. So what is happening when I'm putting this vinegar on? 
Hmm, I see bubbles. And it looks like it's it looks like it's melting. So this is room temperature vinegar. And this is very cold, but this is not hot vinegar. Do you guys think it's melting? I know when we've done this before, a lot of kids thought it was melting. It is not melting. It is actually the reaction between the vinegar that's A acid and the baking soda that is a base. And the way we know it's making CO2 gas is the CO2 gas is making it bubble. So let's really get it. Now, if you want to make some sequins into yours, you can do that. You can make it as decorative as you want. And I can also hear it really well. Can you guys hear that? All that bubbling and fizzing? So that's what we've got for today. All you need, make sure you have a little pan that you put this in. It doesn't have to be up like mine is. I'm just doing it up so you can see. Here's my little face that's fallen off now. And we will be doing some more baking soda experiments next week.